Is it King Obama? By the way, he's more like a pharaoh. A, he's a pharaonic figure. If I was laying in bed trying to figure out who he is historically, because there are archetypes that repeat themselves. You know, you can't use Mussolini. None of that works. He's pharaonic. Obama is like a pharaonic figure, and that's not a positive thing. He is a pharaoh in his own eyes. Very dangerous. The only thing is we don't have a Moses to lead us out of the uh, Red Sea. Let my people go and all of that. What you don't know about the Chrysler crisis, you should know, which is that it is owned by Cerberus Management Company, which is a private equity firm, which is headed up by none other than Jon Snow, a former crony of, uh, of uh, George Bush, who made a fortune on the CSX railroad sw a swindle of a number of years ago, in my opinion. So if you think that Obama is different than Bush, well, I got another guest coming for you. It's a difference in style, certainly, and a difference in social policies, which don't mean anything to any of these money guys. They could care less if, you're, if your daughter married a, 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 a donkey. They don't care whether your daughter marries a donkey. All I care about is that they get to grift out the public money. That's all. So th this is absurd. What do you mean they're bailing out Chrysler? They're bailing out Cerberus Management. It'll take billions of dollars out and then give you the middle finger and walk on with another fortune. Then you got the idiot, Janet Napoleontano, on swine flu making statements that are so stupid that uh, Epidemiology 101 student knows that she's a liar. Now, they're all repeating the same lie that you're hearing on MSNBC because MSNBC is the channel of the government. Listen to clip four. As the president lo noted last night, Closing the entire uh, borders would uh, have no benefit at this uh, point because the virus is already present in the United States. Uh, Dummy! The comparison is clear. It's like closing uh, the barn door well after the horse has left. Listen, schmuck, you're wrong. You're a moron. If you have other infected horses, you don't let them into the corral. Idiot. But they're all repeating it. Are they that stupid? Well, listen to the president himself. He said the same thing. Listen. Uh, a lot of team I, I have consulted today. with our public health officials extensively uh, on a day to day basis, in some cases, an hour and hour to hour to hour basis. Uh, at this point, they have not recommended uh, a border closing. Uh, from their perspective, it would be akin to uh, closing the barn door after uh, the horses are out because we already have stupid. Stupid is as stupid the does. The man is incompetent. That's illogical. You have additional individuals who are ill. They're closing down the government in Mexico. The people are contaminated. You don't let them swarm over the border. What kind of stupidity is this? It'd be like closing the barn door after the horses have left. No, my friend, there are additional infected individuals across the border. But you see, when you have a supine press, when you have people who are drug addicts in the media who don't ask questions, either because they don't know how or they have no logical faculties to begin with, we are left with the big lie that gets repeated over and over again. But not in America. In America, the bottom line is all that matters. The government is idiotic. Obama is an idiot or a liar or both. He has lied about everything. His big celebration last night, the pharaoh of our time, the man lied one time after another. Obama's job deficit claims are lies. Even the Associated Press noticed that. This man is a serial liar. He's worse than Bill Clinton and George Bush put together. But you don't want to accept it. You want to worship the new pharaoh. I don't. I don't want to worship this pharaoh. I think this man is a danger to the survival of this country. And that's why I'm telling you that to keep listening to this big lie, where they say it's like closing the barn door after the horses have already escaped. First Obama says it, and then Janet Napoleontano says it, then the man who urinates on his feet says it on MSLGBT. They keep repeating the big lie. But it's all false. It makes no sense. Here's a fact for you. Swine flu genes from pigs only, not humans or birds. Now, originally, they were telling us that it was a combination of pig, human, and avian influenza strains, but it's a lie. Scientists who have studied the disease just reported that the influenza virus that is fueling fears of a global pandemic is a hybrid of two common pig flu strains. There is no human and, or, or avian influenza strains in it. Okay, so get that clear. Swine flu genes from pigs only, not humans or birds. You say, well, what's the difference? Ultimately, there is no difference. I mean, it makes no difference really where it came from. But it just shows you that the government doesn't know anything. Never. But they don't understand this part of it.
Neither of the strains have ever proven contagious in humans. So the, the mystery is, how did it expand from the pig to the human? Nobody knows that yet. Yeah, that means some theories about it. They know that the earliest cases, the locus of infection is in the town of La Gloria in the Mexican state of Veracruz, not far from a unsanitary hog farm. And some residents of Veracruz and some so-called journalists have alleged that the virus could have evolved in the farm's pigs, then passed into humans through water or insects tainted by infected waste. Okay? And so you say, well, the unsanitary conditions at industrial hog farms could prove a breeding ground for new forms of influenza. So let's say that's a, a, a possibility. But since you know the locus is in Veracruz, Mexico, what you do is you close off travel from Mexico if you have brains. Uh, if you have no brains, you say it's like closing the barn door after the horses have already escaped, thinking people have no logical faculties.